I often get asked what type of polythene would I recommend on the domes. Um, they're mostly built for greenhouses, uh, but that's not to say there isn't a huge variety of different cover polythenes. Um, today, it's not like 10, 15 years ago when polythene lasted um, a couple of years and it was just all the same. It was basic stuff. Nowadays, you can get highly specialised polythenes. So, it's worthwhile finding a good supplier and researching a little bit about the type of polythene that you might want to cover your dome in. Take a look on the computer and I'll show you a few different types of polythene. Right, let's start, let's get cracking here. Okay, this, this is a, a selection of um, Excel Horticulture's uh, polythenes. Let's take a quick look at, at, at these. This is the brochure, the PDF. I'll link down to it in the uh, description so you can pop and have a look yourselves. Uh, let's go oh, work through them this. Um, these are thermic covers which help against frost. So if you're looking to uh, maximize the uh, growing year, yeah, you've got low temperatures outside. Uh, this one's good and it's even better if you do double skin. Uh, I'll do a video on double skinning at some point, uh, but let's crack on with the next one. Super thermic, even better. Uh, I'm just going to whiz through these because I really haven't got that much time. But the PDF shows you all of the, the um, guaranteed life, the expected life, um, diffusion, uh, the light transmission, all the information that you need to uh, decide if you want to use that for your project. Uh, Sunmaster, I use the, uh, this is the diffused range, this diffuses light. Uh, let me have a look. Sunmaster Clear, this is the one I mostly use. Um, I've used loads of this. It's a good, good strong film. Uh, it lasts way more than eight years. Uh, this is very conservative here. Light tr transmission is really good. It's got a slight, uh, what would you call a bloom to it? So you can't. Uh, it's not like glass, but it's pretty clear, and it's. I've been quite happy with it so far. But there's a new one out. Uh, let me have a look. Oh, this is Super Smart Green, which uh, is a specialised cover. And blue, which again is specialised. Uh, I want this cool. Uh, if you have hot summers and you want to minimise the um, amount of heat generation, but keep the light levels up. Light transmissions here are uh, 80 80 percent, uh, and the diffusion's 50 percent. Uh, it'll keep your building cooler, but let still let light in in the summer. So I would recommend this for um, hotter climates. And then we get in England. This is a uh, new out this year, and I think we're going to stock this in the shop. Uh, this is Crystal Film, which this is the most like glass. It's unique in that it has seven layers, and it's got a guarantee of six years, which is a year longer, and a life expectancy of ten rather than the eight. You'll get way longer than ten years. I mean, in England, um, I've had st bog standard polythene on on a, on a polytone for over 10 years I think it was nearly 12 years and if you look after it we don't get a ton of sun in this country and um, so you can expect a, a much longer lifespan than, than than what they say here I think this is for professional growers really but we'll be stocking this one and I'll do another video on the crystal firm because I think I've got high expectations out of this with uh, how clear it is um, this could mean really a game changer for the dome business because because what you want is something that's glass like but it's uh, light and cost effective so this could be a winner uh, I'll, I'll do another video on this when I get order myself some samples this is new out now um, and I'll I'll do a review of this one and I'll probably build building something with it shortly uh, but that gives you a quick overview of the, this is just one company. These are very good at Excel Horticulture. I quite like them. They've got a good range. Um, so you can cut, you can cover your dome um, in a depending on what you want to achieve. 
you know, plants uh, overwintering, um, summer houses with that get rid of the glare, and um, green ones if you want to grow ferns or something like that. Um, so polythene isn't just polythene. Uh, I would definitely do some research. Um, this, these are a UK company, so the, if you're in the States or Europe, you're probably going to have to find a local supplier, uh, do a search on the internet um, and find it. But you should get pretty much a, a fairly decent range of uh, different polythenes for your dome. Ooh, uh, one thing I almost forgot to mention, don't use shrink wrap polythene or cheap polythene that's used for wrapping um, or packaging polythene that you get for um, you can get it and sometimes get it in rolls it's not meant for uh, long-term UV exposure and all of them will just rot, crack, split uh, very quickly so only use a, a high quality uh, I think all Horticultural polythenes now have a five-year guarantee, so they're not going to split or rot in five years, and and um, they actually last a lot longer than that. Um, but you'll find that if you, if you use a cheap polythene that you, that's for packaging or for um, shrink wrap or anything like that, it just won't last. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments box, uh, or if you know any suppliers in different countries. Uh, or or England for that matter. I I use Excel Horticulture. If you know um, any others, drop a note down in the comments because uh, it could be useful for people to find um, polythene suppliers. Uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.